I'm not surprised that Squid Game has become such a popular Halloween costume. And I say, uh, hello, in Korean. Because everybody getting all excited about these Korean shows. You're late! I've been watching Korean TV shows since I was in high school, baby. Have you seen Mr. Queen? No. Have you seen Rookie Historian? No. Watch a historical drama, find some hanbok, and get your life together. <laughs> and get your life together. Bopping to BTS, or mesmerized by mukbang, <laughs> South Korean culture has captured our attention. There's a word for the global phenomenon, Hellyu, aka the K-Wave. I am actually a fan of BTS myself. They're not just innovative, exciting performers, but the fans here in Australia constantly are telling me that, you know, BTS has saved their lives. After decades of being excluded from Hollywood, East Asians are finally being recognised. Parasite. It touches on these global issues through a Korean perspective through a Korean perspective. There's no denying how you has taken over the world. How you has taken over the world and K-culture is here to stay. Think about the way it looks as well. So take, for example, Mars Singer. Mm. That's a Korean. They've just managed to come up with an image that is just immediately yeah. magnetic. Colour, and aesthetic and substance, I think. A professor from CSU is considering its impact. South Korean film and television has grown in popularity in recent years. Each episode costs less than $2 million, uh, which is half of the price Netflix invested in each episode of House of Cards. And other streaming platforms are now looking to replicate this massive, replicate this massive success. The show's global reception has gone beyond just reviews. It has generated discussions about morality and capitalism and even spurred interest in learning the Korean language. So was the Korean wave deliberate or was the Korean wave deliberate or was it a random phenomenon? Seems like it was a mixture of the two. After the Asian financial crisis in the 1990s, South Korea's government began to view cultural exports as a source of foreign revenue to help the country's economic survival. A Carnegie report, however, makes an important point about the government's early role in Korea's soft power push. At times, this government support has been misinterpreted as the South Korean government supposedly creating the wave of popularity, but it would be more accurate to say that Seoul created an environment in which the movie, television and music industries were able to thrive. There is an emergence of Korean culture worldwide, isn't there? I, I think it's the most phenomenal thing, of course. And I think for the longest time that Korean culture was uh, isolated on Coldplay, just recorded a song with BTS, and that was to benefit Coldplay. That was to benefit Coldplay. Uh, BTS even uh, bigger around the world. So I think Parasite and K-pop, the music has paved the way. The music has paved the way. But now Squid Game has come through uh, I would dare say besting even BTS. No! Watch a historical drama, find some hanbok, and get your life together. Touches on these global issues through a Korean perspective. There's no denying how you has taken over the world. And other streaming platforms are now looking to replicate this massive success. So was the Korean wave deliberate or was it a random phenomenon? Coldplay just recorded a song with BTS and that was to benefit Coldplay. Parasite and K-pop, the music has paved the way. 구독과 좋아요 눌러주세요.